Yo, what's up guys? Uh, before I start the video, I'm just telling you guys right now to just like and subscribe. I usually don't do that in any of my videos at all. I usually have it in my description and I don't even promote it like that. But the reason I'm saying this is because this video is almost an hour freaking long, bro. I sat here for like two hours editing the video. I tried to accommodate time as much as possible to you guys, in, uh, at least for like gameplay purposes so you guys can watch everything build over time instead of me cutting past a lot of it. I tried to do as best as I could. Um, I'm really thankful for you guys. We are approaching 250 subscribers and I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Uh, get on with the video. Adjust the slider. Y'all want it like super dark or super bright? What are we doing? Actually, no, let's go with viewer friendly. Let's go viewer friendly. I never want to be able to see. Oh boy, here we are. Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey. I noticed you were requesting some story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carson House. Why well, I'm about to reaccount what happened when I was 20, happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry, forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, and etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself, which had a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home that I had at the time. All right, this was one of the times I was transferred out to one post to another because of the official circumstances. It was a, it was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, we're actually driving. Oh, this is like how they did on the uh, Norwood hitchhike. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, never mind. It was a very solitary life. This looks really cool. Helps keep my mind quiet. Oh, that's a big truck. That's a big truck. Oh! <laughs> I've always loved the great outdoors. Felt like I was at home in the woods. Bro, are you driving out of 10 on my score? It is negative 10 out of 10. Okay, pal, I'm I'm texting and driving. Obviously irresponsibly, like watch this. Oh! <laughs> Did we just drift? Were we on Tokyo drift timing? All right, tee up, 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 tee up. <laughs> All right, let's tee up this time. Let's actually tee up and play the game for real. Hey, what's up, man? What fears are we fathoming? The Norwood hitchhike. Norwood, Norwood, something. Something about Norwood. Eris, welcome back to another stream. I'm so glad you're able to make it. Let me talk to this guy. Oh yeah, you, you turn that thing up. Ugh. 
<laughs> How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? <laughs> this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Have a safe journey. Thank you. He turned that thing up. Listen to him. But, uh, guys, I don't think we're supposed to be able to park like this. This is kind of illegal. Hey, yo. Run that back by me twice again. Welcome to our Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Uh, since I'm an antisocial person, let's go all the way to the back. Hello. You said I delivered your food? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Barbara? Okay, Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. Cheeseburger with fries! Cheeseburger with fries! Cheeseburger with fries! Let us choose. Oh my bad. All right, y'all, y'all can choose. Y'all, y'all can choose. Uh, what do you, what do y'all want? What do y'all want? What drink do you guys want? A strawberry slushy. What you think? What you think? We do strawberry slushy. Anything else? Um. That'll be a cocaine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Pancakes. The best drink, crack. I guess so. I've always had a habit of what? And we can use the bathroom. I really had to pee. I didn't know it was like this. Barbara got no cake. We're not even using the bathroom. We're, we're... Bro, it's all over the floor. Look. <gasps> I think he accidentally did that. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I had to. So make it talking territory, I guess. Yeah, so basically I'll dry my hands before I wash my hands. Um, it gets rid of all the residual germs and then the water kind of gets it off. And then, then I don't have to dry my hands afterwards, you know? You have to know. Long day of driving, huh? Where you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Uh, we can't say. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's, par it's every parent's worst nightmare. That guy's downing that coffee? Yeah, let's go talk to him. What do you got going on? You look a little lost. Just tired. This place has some great coffee. If you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Bro, definitely has a night shift with all that caffeine. It gots to. That's... That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. I don't think I could handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. Okay, pal. Basic bitch ass. <laughs> Vanilla, vanilla latte, ooh la la. I love vanilla though. I'm, I'm very basic when it comes to flavor, dude. I mean, but I'll mix it up every once in a while with a little strawberry. I throw a little strawberry and some little fudge in there, some from time to time. 
Grave digger. He's got to be the grave digger, dude. How's the food? He just stared at me. All right, let's let's go sit back down. There she is. I would too. Dead pants there for something to come up to me. Ask about my food. Dang! This is what chat ordered? This is what chat ordered? Okay. Okay. Why are you drinking first? You eat first, then you drink after. Drug McFlurry. I figured it'd be well I had a meal like this again. Yeah, I want I want a burger now too, dude. Double cheeseburger with some fries on the side. Yeet! Oh. You should send the casserole recipe you were talking about. I might be able to... Might, I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. In the new lookout. Oh my god. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Hurry up, stop walking so slow. Here's the check. Your total is seven, seven dollars for that. You know how much money that is now? That's like damn near $20 now. That's at least like $15, $16 for that whole meal, dude. Um, let's... Let's tip... Nah... Yeah, let's tip, let's tip. Seven dollars for a whole film? 50% tip that. I'm sorry, I went to... My bad, I'm sorry! <laughs> Don't be cheap. I'm sorry! I thought about it and I was like... Only thing she did was just serve me. Who's getting tipped here? Who's getting tipped here? If the chef in the back's getting tipped, I'm paying him 50%, but she just brought the food out to me. Tips are split between server and cook. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't even know that. Thank you for all the information. Are we driving or... Oh, here we go. Are we backing up? Hey guys, keep grinding. Y'all been y'all been doing this for like three days now. It's crazy. I was very proud of my driving. Did I just crash into something? <laughs> Did I just crash into something? If someone starts singing, I'm cutting it off. I want to include the location of this park. But but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors of seen in this forest. In these woods, my bad. Looks like we made it. Where do we park? This looks like where you park, right? We can go through here, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, so just turn. Yeah, because I'm a devil in the sheets. What? I drove my RV onto the foot trail. I I can't I can't get out. I won't even let me get out. I think the car's stuck. That jump scare was freaking crazy, bro. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, no, I'm not a camper. 
I'm the new transferred fire lookout. He needs to he needs to step back. Yeah, he is very close. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check that out. All right, pal. Jesus Christ, that jump scare was the craziest jump scare. Is that guy racist or Christian? Demonic, demonic entities? Gotta be, bro. Probably talking about the KKK members or something. I don't like the way you pulled up on me and almost shot me. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. All right. I apologize. Oh, I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season here. But here are your keys. I should have clipped you squealed. You can clip. You can still clip, right? Let me open the trail gate for you. He's being a respectable gentleman afterwards, though. On God, clip. All right, let's see. To go. It didn't clip it. It didn't clip it all the way. Scare me and I'll swing it. <laughs> Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You'd be careful. Take this. Why didn't we come already equipped with a flashlight? So funny. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during the staffing. Nice enough guy. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any farther than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous will get that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it, chief. Eleven thirty-two. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Am I giving up? However long it takes. Tower eleven. Okay, it's over here. Oh, here we are. Imagine being out here. Alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing that as long as I, as long as I'm able to play my PC or have like a laptop that has reception and got Wi-Fi and stuff. I think I'll be pretty good. Forty-three off. Almost there, my friend. I'm almost there. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look out for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Well, can we get inside of the place first? There you go. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Do we not have a light in here? Sounds pretty cool not having to like... We got to turn on the generator at first. Of course they wouldn't have the generator automatically on. I don't know, I thought I seen a pair of eyes over there. How do we turn the generator on? Oh, here we go. Generator is on! Should have brought a bike with us. Faster way to transport. I had to report for the night. Oh, here you go. Radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. No idea what's happening. Password? J 
check the iron bark rules flyer. Iron bark tower number. Okay. There you go. Classic windows. Hello there. I'm it's smiley your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer today Move this out of the way I'm Jack Nice to meet you. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? I'm a transfer from Ionors. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. I love this game. Hey, Spring Trap Afton, welcome to another stream. Was that all they wanted me to do? There's no firewood. Okay. I figured that's where they wanted me to do. Keep the matches, matches don't lose them. Okay. I'll just put them right there and bring the flashlight with me. Yep, here you go. Here comes the firewood. Place on the stove. Yeah, I've seen a lot of YouTubers play them already. Well, not all of them. I haven't seen Norwood. I seen like my friend play it like for like a little bit, but I clicked off because I knew I was gonna wind up playing it soon. I've not needed gasoline. Oh. It's either I use them up. Oh, they clipped to the thing. I'm trying to light it. There we go. Support for the night. How do we do that? measure temps seventeen okay <laughs> thank you thank you someone forgot to set up watch time bro watch time is a thing is it check the commands I swear I put that in seventeen knots okay let's check the uh Thanks, man. There's a thermostat on the wall. Okay. The temperature was 45.6 Fahrenheit. 45.6 Fahrenheit. Uh, numbers of hikers assisted. Zero. Weather condition. Let's check outside. Uh, is this cloudy? It's cloud. By the way, the number doesn't seem right. Uh, how so? I've been here longer. Guys, I don't think this is working. I tried every single one. Oh, clear? That's clear? Okay. Arm. Yeah, right here. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. All right. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. I can't wait for a bad boys ride or die. I thought that I thought that already came out. All right, we're going to sleep, bro. Going to snimp.
Unintelligible. New one, it's cinema. Okay. Get up. Connor? I had to pee. My first night, my first night being out in the cabin gave me a strange feeling. Oh, okay. Why are we able to do this? Stop! I'm not stopping. I was done with it. It was just you and the wind, and the time melts away. Hot cocoa in the morning, bro. This game gives me KKK vibes. You on 1K? You got it? No, you didn't. This is the view right here. We're in weird costumes. I'll take another photo. Okay. Shoot, I can get 900, but now 1k. Getting 1k? Oh. Um, yeah, what's up? Okay. Uh, where'd I throw the. Where'd the binoculars go? Oh, the smoke was white. Indicative, in indicative. The odds of getting one K. Yes, one in one thousand. I need to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? That's what I'm doing, bro. Did you spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. Do you have any other details? Stay safe out there. All right, dude. To carry your bear, spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. bear spray? You might as well get a taser or something to scare somebody away. You might as well get like a grenade, because at the end of the day, you're you're getting cooked. It's daytime, so I think we'll be able to just kind of do it regularly. Did I need to grab anything else? Uh, where's the spray? Is that it? That's bear spray, okay. Oh, button. Oh, okay. You're just saying stuff like that. Yeah, I just don't really have the food to eat. It's really trying to make this uh, thing take off, you know? Unfortunately, follow the trail that led me to the smoke. What the freak is screaming? What is this music? Why is this music coming on? Okay. Are you okay? Jeez. Sorry, K. The service sector is very good. Hey! Nah, this is weird. We should leave. Probably overused them and they got tired of you. <laughs> You 
probably broke them, bro. The freak is going on? Nine oh seven p.m. As I hack back to my tower in the dark, could you sit that you show me wrong? I could help think what would have happened. We got seventy nine followers. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. I said the game stopped responding for a second. So you gotta come out here and do the thing. 18. Temperature 50.7. Okay, cloud. All right. Is that whistling again? Just barely hear it. I was too hungry to go to food without bed. <laughs> wow. To go to food without bed. <laughs> Uh, okay, that should be it. Just talking too long. My patience, like, literally turned to zero. I liked eating in bed. Okay. Isn't this how we ate the last bit of food in like the very first game? We just straight up ate it out the pot. <laughs> we didn't even try to cut it up or anything. We just ate it straight out the pot, bro. Already full. Getting cold, okay. The freak is that? Yeah, back the freak up, boy. Don't stay over here, child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay in your own domain, buddy. So what I got going on has nothing to do with you.
the fuck? Okay, here we go. Oh, heck, you know. What the fuck? Why do you have horns? There's something very strange about that night. Is he coming around here? He is! Come back up. Get the bear spray. Oh. He's walking over here. What's oh, the presence outside? Hmm. Didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Logical thing I could do is contact Connor. Okay, bro. All right, thank you. Alright. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was really just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. I kept most of my days with simple maintenance around the tower. Yeah, I need to clean these. Whoa. Okay. I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. A everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. A small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. It's not familiar. I probably just got you killed, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? I hear your whistles. That's oh, not me. I see you behind the trees to my right. Are you sure? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh, oh 
gosh, it's Billy. Oh, it's Billy. Holy moly. What took you so long there? Oh, is this a single loss hiker? At this era? At this hour? Maybe. No, I'm Oh my god. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if we keep holding this. What are you doing? What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why are you there? I wouldn't screw around there out there, pal. I was required to investigate it. Oh lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Mine included. Bro, there's a ton of culture, so whistling at night is bad. Mine included. Yeah, bro. Be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. There's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I gotta have to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. And hearing you... Bitch, Ed, are you alright? Mention the skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. What's up, Swing Shop Afton? <clears throat> Thanks for the supplies. You be safe, Billy. Is the only person that didn't try and gaslight me the last time. Something didn't look right. Oh, do we need to check it now? It's real spooky now, yeah. Real, real spooky. Oh, 26. Jesus Christ. No, 26, bro. Wasn't this like... 56.9? And then it's kind of clear. I wasn't sure if I put in the right weather condition. Wind. There you go. Nice. Was that all? Still gotta go downstairs. I was too hungry. Went ahead and get that food from yesterday. Put it in the microwave. And eat it. Guys, ad break, ad break, ad break, guys. Okay, I think we're back. We're good? Yep, alright, let's go. Why don't we have a door or like a key for that? You don't want anyone like trying to get in and break anything. Jump scares are something different. Gosh, bro. Yes, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Right. Absolutely. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? What the freak is going on? The music just bug? Good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. Remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell. Can you freaking leave me alone, boy? <laughs> that had me gone, bro. See the smoke coming out of your tower. <sighs> 
Jeez, what's up, Connor? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. Just about yesterday. You trying to yank my chain now? That radio tower's been out of service for eight days now. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Years ago, after a lightning strike fried its systems, its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, if what you're saying is true. Yo, why are Connor? Why won't you grow a freaking brain and stop acting like an NPC? You know something weird's going on here, so back me up. <sighs> this freaking idiot. You're trying to hang my chain now? Yeah, I have more than just a minute. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Generator ran out of gas. Is this where we need to go? It's getting cold and I had to pee. Okay. This dude, man. I accidentally skipped past it. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. Jack, you got me. Okay, tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator, and now I'm seeing this. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. What the fuck? Didn't know what to make of this. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Turn the camera flash. <gasps> oh shit! They freaking see me. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait, bro. Did they just run? Did they start running? Oh no. Nah. Oh no. Nah. Ah! How did they get here so freaking fast? Hi! 
Hide! 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 Oh fuck. Big ass feet. Why he breathes so hard? I'm running. I'm running. I'm getting the freak up out of here. I'm getting the freak up out of here. It was locked. Okay. Oh fuck! Hey, bro, get the freak up! to get in the ring guard. <laughs> Shit, 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 Fuck that shit. I just got, I made it. I don't like it. I don't like fast closing in footsteps. <sighs> These are my stomach. There are many years of past. The memory family thought I was making a whole thing up. It's really out of my character. Why would a bunch of people think that you're making stuff up? That's so weird. We're not after dark. We become illegal activity. So if you put a plan on going to campus soon, please be safe. <laughs> 